camera that can record in 4K. Let's see how well it does. These Chinese action cameras seem to get cheaper and cheaper um, every day. This one is called the F60B action camera. It costs about $45 or so. And again, I left some links in the video description wherever I found it cheaper. So this camera can record in 4K. I did look at the footage in 4K, it doesn't uh, look like 4K. However, I'll let you decide um, how it does. So the camera comes in this box right here on the front we have a couple of colors that um, we can choose. It is waterproof because it does come uh, with a case that's uh, waterproof and it does have Wi-Fi so it can connect to your phone and you can uh, watch whatever the camera is uh, seeing onto your phone. On the back of the box we just have some um, information about the camera like the resolution and uh, stuff like that. So that's about it for the box. Now the camera comes with a whole bunch of accessories, so we get uh, an additional door for the waterproof case. The waterproof case does look uh, quite cool. So this is the waterproof case. To open this you actually have to pull that and then uh, it opens, so a bit uh, different than other uh, ones that I've seen. So pull on this, lift it up. So. Make sure you close it all the way so uh, the water doesn't go uh, in there. And then we have a whole bunch of accessories uh, in the box here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can uh, set this up on your bicycle, uh, on a tripod, uh, a whole, whole bunch of uh, accessories. And it does uh, even come with a charger. So we do get a charger, a couple of straps here, and all the way at the bottom uh, we get some uh, zip. Uh, ties if um, what you can probably do with those here we get a cable some uh, double sided 3m tape and a whole bunch of uh, other stuff we even get a cleaning uh, cloth i only use the the stuff for uh, mounting it on the bicycle so that stuff it's not here but it's uh, the same one that you'd find on uh, any other uh, action camera so yeah, it does come with a mount for uh, the bicycle the manual here is very simple to use, uh, it's uh, in English half and uh, part in Chinese. Uh, I haven't actually looked at the manual, it's very very simple, so I'll show you how everything uh, works without the manual. So the camera has a 2 inch um, LCD, uh, it gets bright enough, but uh, if it's very very bright outside you're not gonna be able to see what's on the LCD. Um, it looks just like a GoPro, very very straightforward, the power button and like the menu button on top there is like the OK and the record, that's an LED that flashes up, down and if you press this button here it goes into Wi-Fi mode and that's the little speaker um, right there. This light here it's on all the time on the camera zone. Here we have a HDMI um, output, a micro USB output where you can charge the camera and that's uh, where the SD card goes. So it's a very very easy camera to use, nothing uh, too complicated. At the bottom here we have a little uh, door that holds the battery. It's a 900 uh, milliamp battery, however it does uh, last uh, quite some time. And the camera does shut off by itself uh, after 3 or 5 minutes, I'm not sure um, how much I've set it for. What I like about this camera is the fact that it has Wi-Fi, so if you press this button here, it goes into Wi-Fi mode. And it's gonna stay like that for a bit and eventually it's gonna tell you the password and the Wi-Fi. Then uh, just get your phone, open the Wi-Fi, connect to the action camera, you're gonna have to enter the password if it's uh, your first time connecting to it and it's gonna take a second or so and eventually it will be connected. Now that it's connected, open their app, it's called Sport Look. That's how the app looks. And connect to the camera. And in a couple of seconds you're gonna start seeing uh, the footage uh, right onto the phone. So uh, it is uh, real time, very real time, maybe just a bit uh, behind but very very little. 
So here you can select like a normal mod, a loop mod, uh, if you want to have the camera turning off like every few minutes, a time lapse you can do. So a whole bunch of, uh, of stuff. At media gallery you're going to be able to see whatever uh, you have onto the camera's memory card or whatever you saved onto your phone. I haven't saved uh, anything on the phone. And here you can change uh, some settings uh, from the camera if you don't want to change them from uh, the camera itself. So it's very, very easy, very straightforward. So if I press this and I just took a picture and we saw the picture that I took right there. So if I point this towards myself. So that's uh, the picture that uh, we've just seen. So very, very straightforward uh, to use the app. I'm very happy to see that the app works uh, quite good. So it connects really, really fast. It actually connects way faster than um, the app on the GoPro that I uh, used to have. So very, very straightforward. Um, we do have an option for uh, slow motion recording at 1080p at 60 frames per second or 720p at uh, 120 frames per second. And I did uh, record a bit in uh, 720p in slow motion. And you're going to see all the footage that I recorded uh, at the end of the video. So those are all the options uh, in there. When you're done with the Wi-Fi, you just press uh, the up button. And that's it, you're done. If you press this button here, the mode button. So you can uh, change in between modes. You're going to see the modes uh, changing on top there. So this is if you want to see whatever footage uh, you recorded. You press one more time, you go to, go to settings. And at settings here, you can uh, record, uh, change a whole bunch of settings. So all the settings that uh, there are uh, available onto the app there. So let's say we want to change the video resolution. So I'm going to press on OK. And here we can select whatever uh, resolution uh, you want. So you can select 4K, 2K. Um, however, I did see the 4K footage. It looks okay, but uh, not uh, not that much detail. And I was expecting something very crisp. It wasn't uh, that crisp. So um, keep that in mind uh, that this is a cheap camera and you're not going to get like amazing footage at 4K. So um, just so uh, you're aware. And uh, everything else, it's very, very straightforward. So you change that, then you can move back. So picture resolution I took a couple of pictures uh, at this resolution however you can change that to 16 megapixels or whatever uh, you may need and again you have a couple of options uh, here as well exposure uh, white balance image rotation so if you want to hold the camera the other way you're gonna select image rotation and um, then the camera is gonna flip the other uh, the other way so that's about it for uh, the settings uh, app. So see now the image is uh, upside down. So if I look, turn it towards myself, but then we'll be able to see. But now the image is upside down because I selected uh, that mode. Uh, if you hold press uh, the power button, the power, uh, the camera goes uh, off. So very, very straight uh, forward. And again, if you press uh, the down button here, uh, the microphone uh, stops, so it's not going to record sound. If you press up, uh, it's going to go into Wi-Fi mode. So for uh, the price of this camera, I think we do get uh, quite a bit of value. I do like the camera a lot. It's quite fast. I wish the footage would have been uh, slightly better, but I am uh, quite happy for the value that we get um, for this amount of uh, money. Uh, next, uh, you're gonna see a whole bunch of uh, footage is recorded at 1080p, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, uh, and there is also a 4K uh, recording that I did, and uh, I left a link in the top right corner uh, of this video if you wanna press uh, the unedited, untouched uh, 4K footage. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching, uh, enjoyed the following footage, and uh, let me know uh, if you like this camera, if you think it's good value or not. I'll see you in the next one. What's happening YouTube? This is a test on the bicycle so we can see how well uh, the camera does. I'm recording at 1080p at 60 frames per second.
and this is a video at 1080p at 30 frames per second I am driving so the camera will uh, shake a bit And the last test for this camera is in darkness, so I did close the blinds. Uh, it does much better than the last uh, cheap action camera that I had, at least on the screen uh, what I'm seeing. So yeah, this one does much, uh, much better uh, in darkness. Let's see what happens if we get close enough to the clock. So uh, pretty, pretty good. So this was uh, how the camera looks in uh, low light.